think sometimes we all get a bit too precious about our sewing and our quilts. And I hope that this is going to be a bit of fun. It's something, it's an idea I've had and I'm going to do it against the clock. It's four o'clock, so I'm going to make a start. The idea when I first saw it was using some jelly rolls. So those are cut two and a half inches wide. This has got 40 strips in it. But I thought, you know, I've got a whole bunch of scraps. Why don't I see if I can do this? And this is really live to camera. I have done a little bit of preparation. I have joined lots of my scraps with a diagonal seam. I'll just remind you how to do that. I need to sew, this is placed at right angles. I need to sew from this point down to here. So we're just gonna do that, sewing absolutely in the middle and it's a straight sew. And I'm going to trim off, you can see I trim off the selvage there, trim this off here, trim this off here, and that's now a nice 45 degree angle. The, uh, 40, the idea of the 45 degree angle is just to give interest to the fact that these are scraps rather than a straight seam. So we're going to do another one here and then we can get sewing. So do this one too. I'm getting used to this machine. This is not my machi usual machine. So so we're going to put that one there. You know how I hate these ends. Uh, get rid of the salvage. Get rid of this with an approximate quarter inch seam. I've got two bobbins as well as the one here ready to uh, refill. And we are now going to sew two strips together. But what I have to do is find the other end. So don't be too cavalier about this. I just got to find it, making sure these are all the right way up. I've sewn together what I think is approximately 30 strips worth. By that I mean two and a half inches wide by 40 inches. It's a very rough guess and we're going to see what we get. The other end. fabrics right sides together and we are going to sew going to sew with a going to sew with a quarter inch seam and a slightly bigger seam and off we go Scissors, I'll just trim that up here. We're going to trim up here. Across the side, we're going to open this up. And now we need to find the beginning again. So we're going to not be too cavalier about this, but that should be I 
don't want to twist it because I don't want a big twist in the middle of my quilt. It seemed to be longer than this when I sewed it. Here we go back to the beginning. Here we are back at the beginning. So what we're going to do now is this pair go on this pair and we are going to sew them together in the same way. And we can just open them up so two pieces becomes four. end of this lot. And once again we're going to cut up through here and we can open them up and now we've got a strip of four. So back up to gets shorter every time. Keep an eye on the bobbin. I don't want to run out halfway through. Here we go, back to the beginning. Four on four. Match up the ridges. And off we go again. You're enjoying the music. So okay, nearly there again. So now we've got four to cut across. Which gives us an eight strip. So now we're going to go back to the beginning. So all of a sudden, the quilt actually starts to come together. We've got now 16 strips that we're going to have sewn together. So eight on eight. Go line them up and off we go again. Actually, I'm going to change the bobbin. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to be running out halfway through. So there we go. Head in. Fabrics right sides together. Needle down and off we go again. Back to the end. Uh, we're going to need to cut that up the fold here. So with 16 strips, we've got 32 inch inches wide quilt. And let's see. If I do one more and see what happens. So we'll then have 32 strips by whatever length I've managed to achieve. Because it wasn't overly precise in the first place. Okay. 
the machine. I'm going to lie that as flat as I can do it. Holding my breath here. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but it's been fun and Ta-da! Don't you think that was fun? I hope you do. It's 20 to 5, so 20, 40, 30, 35, 40 minutes. God, brain's gone numb. 40 minutes to make this, and I've used up all my scraps. So have some fun. Mm -hmm.